In the upcoming week of April 8th to 12th on Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan finds herself pressured by Constantine Meliunis to commit to a future with Alex Kiriakis. Meanwhile, Kiriakis shares stories about Teresa with Brady Black. Steve Johnson confesses his guilt to Kayla Johnson and confronts his involvement in Clyde Weston's escape. John Black questions Harris Michaels about his time at Bayview, contemplating his own stay there. Clyde Weston entices Ava Vitali for another task while Trip Johnson helps Wendy Shin combat her trauma. Paulina Price prepares for treatment with Ib Carver's support but later snaps at him. Kristen DiMera's interrogation of E.J. DiMera about Stefan DiMera's imprisonment leads to tension, with Kristen further provoking Holly Jonas, causing conflict with Nicole Walker. Eric Brady investigates Sloan Peterson Brady's suspicious behavior, unaware of her involvement in blackmail. Xander Cook investigates his framing, while Sarah Horton aids him. Maggie Kiriakis receives distressing news from Constantine but is lured closer by his charm. Tate Black and Holly have a secret romantic picnic, and Jada Hunter questions Stephanie Johnson about her feelings for Everett Lynch. In a dramatic turn of events, Chanel and Johnny D. Mara face unexpected danger at the Horton cabin during their honeymoon. Will they survive the chaos unleashed by Clyde and Officer Rebecca Goldman's intrusion? On Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan faces a dilemma when Alex Kiriakis invites her to move back in with him. As Teresa navigates her complicated feelings and the pressure from Constantine Meliunis, Alex and Kristen D. Mara may still be plotting to reconcile with their ex-partners. Meanwhile, Eric Brady delves deeper into Sloan Peterson Brady's mysterious actions. In the Hallmark mystery film series, One Bad Apple, a Hannah Swenson mystery, Allison Sweeney's character investigates a murder in Eden Lake, Minnesota. Sweeney shares her thoughts on how Hannah Swenson might tackle mysteries in Salem, imagining her involvement in uncovering the truth behind the Salem Stalker saga. Finally, in Days of Our Lives as spoilers for April 4th, Nicole, Brady, Teresa, and Kate deal with the consequences of their children's actions. Holly, Tate, and Lucas face challenges with their overbearing parents as tensions rise and decisions are made that could impact their futures. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives, April 8th week, Johnny and Chanel's chaos in the cabin, Clyde's next step, Sloan Arc's suspicion. According to teasers for the week of April 8th to 12th on Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan will face pressure from Constantine Meliunis to commit to a future with Alex Kiriakis. Kiriakis will be sharing stories about Teresa with Brady Black. He'll confess his guilt to Kayla Johnson and get over Steve Johnson. At least to Kayla, it appears that Steve might eventually own up to his involvement in Clyde Weston's escape. John Black will question Harris Michaels over his time spent at Bayview. John would then question whether he should spend some time there as well. According to teasers for other days, Clyde will entice Ava Vitali to complete another duty for him. As it happens, Clyde will contact Ava and give her instructions to get something he secretly left in the bistro for protection. Trip Johnson will try his hardest in the park to divert Wendy Shin's thoughts from her trauma by getting her moving. Together, they will work out to combat her trauma. After that, Paulina Price will get ready for her radioactive iodine treatment with Abe Carver's help, but when she gets agitated in isolation later, she'll snap at him. Naturally, Abe won't hold Paulina responsible and will keep being the devoted husband she deserves. Additionally, according to teasers for days, Kristen DiMera will question E.J. DiMera about Stefan DiMera's imprisonment. E.J. may be especially agitated when Kristen queries him about Stefan because he just got out of a heated argument with Holly Jonas. Kristen will later chastise Holly in front of her own eyes, earning her the wrath of Nicole Walker. 
the resumption of Nicole and Kristen's dispute could lead to further problems. Meanwhile, Eric Brady is going to uncover something odd. Eric might start questioning Sloane Peterson Brady too much about missing money and her strange spending habits since it turns out that Sloane will be late with their rent payment. Sloane will attempt to patch things up as best she can and keep Eric in the dark about the turmoil surrounding the blackmail involving the baby, as she is still paying Leo Stark. In other news, spoilers for days indicate that Xander Cook intends to investigate his framer, and Sarah Horton will make every effort to assist him. When Xander finds Chad D. Mara, he will demand that the spectator conduct a thorough investigation to determine the perpetrator. Maggie Kiriakis will receive updates from Constantine on some bad news, but after he breaks the news, he will utilize his endearing nature to entice her to be nearer. Tate Black and Holly will have a romantic picnic across town, but it will probably take place without their parents' knowledge and could cause a stir if they are discovered. Fans of Days of Our Lives can also anticipate that Jada Hunter will question Stephanie Johnson. Jada will pursue an honest explanation regarding Stephanie's unresolved love for Everett Lynch, aka Bobby Stein. Stephanie will want to know why Everett refuses to sign the divorce papers that might put an end to his marriage to Jada permanently. A startling interruption awaits Chanel and Johnny D. Mara when they arrive at the Horton cabin for their honeymoon retreat. Will the newlyweds be put in danger when Clyde and Officer Rebecca Goldman show up to the cabin without permission? We'll bring you predictions about the mayhem that could break out because spoilers for Days of Our Lives suggest that Johnny and Chanel could be in danger. Days of Our Lives Warning, Will Teresa Accept Alex? According to teasers on Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan is asked to move back in by Alex Kiriakis. But is this merely a component of his scheme to woo Kristen DiMera? What is currently known about the NBC Peacock exclusive is as follows. Days of Our Lives spoilers, are Teresa Donovan and Alex Kiriakis once again roommates? According to teasers for Days of Our Lives, Alex Kiriakis invites Teresa Donovan to live into his opulent apartment. Teresa has been seen moving into Tate Black's room at his grandparents' house in recent episodes. She remained there as her son was wrongfully imprisoned. She also ended her relationship with Alex. Tate Black, however, was just freed on Days of Our Lives. Naturally, the single mother is relieved, but she now has nowhere to stay when her kid returns home. The handsome man has been plotting with Kristen D. Mara in the meanwhile. She desires to be back in Brady Black's bed. Thus, Alex and Kristen came up with a scheme to enrage their former partners. Sadly, their plot was ineffective. Recaps from Days of Our Lives reveal that Teresa gave her ex a hard time for dating the Demera diva. Kristen is a nasty, bad woman after all. Brady also finds it annoying when his former flame tries to arouse his jealousy with her Horton Square PDA. The Titan CEO gives Ms. Donovan her old room back in their former shared apartment this week on Days of Our Lives. He'll probably ask as a friend rather than a potential romantic partner. Is she going to accept his proposal? The threat from Constantine Meliunis is still looming large over Teresa Donovan. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Will Alex and Kristen Keep Plotting? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Alex Kiriakis and Kristen D. Mara might still be plotting to win back their ex-partners. Even though viewers may sense the chemistry between the two con artists, their ship is merely a plot device. Dating someone else and making your ex-lover jealous is one of the oldest techniques in history. As part of his agreement with Kristen, does the attractive businessman invite his ex-girlfriend back to the apartment? After all, if they live close to one another, they might someday reunite as a Days of Our Lives pair. If they stay platonic, will she accept his plan? In addition, how will Kristen carry on her efforts to reconcile with Brady Black? Her pecking despite having done nothing but agitate the ex-couples, Alex seemed to have satisfied them both. 
The emotions they evoked indicated that both individuals had some residual concern for their former partners. Does Kristen and Alex continue to collaborate on Days of Our Lives? Time will tell. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Teresa continues to keep her big secret. Fans of Days of Our Lives are eagerly awaiting the revelation of Teresa Donovan's letter-related mystery. Indeed, Constantine just told his accomplice that she ought to keep searching for the gold mine in Kyriakis. If she doesn't comply, the Greek will also unleash the pretty manipulator. According to spoilers for the second week of Days of Our Lives, Alex Kyriakis' true father will be revealed later in the spring. The announcement that Xander Cook is the real son of the late, great Victor Kyriakis will have to wait for a little while longer. When that time comes, Teresa might have to look for another place to stay. Watch Peacock's Days of Our Lives to see whether Alex Kyriakis approaches Teresa Donovan about moving back in with him. Does she accept his advances? For your daily fix of casting news and spoilers for days, head back to here. Exclusive to Hallmark, Days of Our Lives turning Hannah Swenson loose on Salem Mysteries is Allison Sweeney's doing. This time, Hannah Swenson is back on the case, focusing on a single unsavory individual in Eden Lake, Minnesota. One Bad Apple, a Hannah Swenson mystery, a Hallmark mystery film series, stars Allison Sweeney as the title baker who becomes a detective. Sweeney also created the screenplay for the series. This time, her character must investigate the murder of a deceased co-worker at the nearby college while dodging explosions and consuming a large amount of baked goodies. The endearing film provides hints of deceitful behavior coupled with a dash of romance. Sweeney tells Soaps.com that although she enjoys taking information from novelist Joanne Fluke's series of books, her father had a significant say this time around since he believed Hannah needed to gather more proof before solving the mystery. Regarding one of the most recent ones, he was a touch judgmental, saying things like, that's not proof, you couldn't condemn someone with that. After becoming a little defensive, I realized, wait, maybe you're right about that. That's when Victor Webster, posing as the gorgeous prosecutor Chad Norton, steps in to help Hannah solve her credibility dilemma. He plays the ideal foil for Hannah, acting as the guy who challenges her claims with, that is an evidence. The baker found a clue under a pillowcase, that kid told a jury, she quips. So, I really put a lot of effort into giving Hannah the next level of her investigations with his tone. This time, Sweeney's dad prevailed. We couldn't help but wonder what days of our lives mystery Hannah would be wanting to solve in Salem after seeing how well she handled both her baking company and her hobby as an amateur detective. Sweeney had the answer immediately. That's enjoyable, I see. The most well-known one that caught my attention is. When Marlena killed all those individuals, I'm sure Hannah would have deduced that she was the Salem stalker, the woman asserts. Sweeney says her character, Dolores, played hilariously by Barbara Niven, and Hannah would have gotten to the bottom of it, and that they would have figured that out in a heartbeat. If my memory serves me well, Grandma Caroline was one of the victims in the pub, she continues. Hannah would have been too affected by it, she adored the chef and the baker and would not have stopped until she found the person responsible. Sweeney thinks that Hannah's character would not rest until she solved all of Salem's mysteries and problems, and maybe she gets into the supernatural as well, you never know, so she probably wouldn't stop there. Sweeney also believes that Hannah's is baked goods and her gossip would keep the population well-fed and add some color to Salem's already vibrant scene. She notes that perhaps this is the crossover we need, suggesting that she is receptive to the notion. I don't know, this is hilarious, chuckles Sweeney. Hannah could prepare something spicy for Salem, perhaps. On Friday, April 5th, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time slash Pacific Time, One Bad Apple, a Hannah Swenson mystery will debut on Hallmark Mystery. Day's spoilers, Holly, Tate and Lucas deal with overbearing parents. And what about Nicole, Brady, Teresa, and Kate? 
The repercussions of several decisions are revealed in the days of our live spoilers for Thursday, April 4, as Nicole, Teresa, Brady, and Kate plan for the futures of their kids. Adolescent Mischief Nicole tried her best to defend Holly's fabrications regarding Tate. Which is ideal because Holly continued to lie by using Nicole as her justification. But now that everything is in the open, Holly must deal with the fallout from her choices. But don't worry, Nicole will be there to make sure that everyone knows that Holly is an angel, that she never does anything wrong, and that the only person accountable for what happened is the one who sold Holly the pills. Holly could hardly be expected to, you know, exercise independent judgment and decide not to take medications. Domestic Front Tate is coming home, so Teresa can put her child's concerns to rest and focus on her opulent wealth. Naturally, she must win back Alex's favor in order for it to occur. Teresa is extended an invitation to return to his home. Is Alex aware that Tate is included in the package? And Brady's response to that? As good as gold. Lucas is another son whose mother feels he was treated unfairly. Kate is adamant that his prison time be reduced. Indeed, he did plan the kidnapping. However, Sammy was there. Sammy. It's not as though she never provoked him in any way. Sammy was going to get it. Lucas's mother is going to demonstrate why he is an angel. Mood swinging. The cancer in Paulina was miraculously cured. Paulina's heart failure was remarkably recovered from. Why is she even thinking about her last sessions with Marlena? Is Lexi not still in command? For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.